Hey there, what's up? In this Photoshop quick tip, I want to show you how you can save a lot of time when making selections in Photoshop. I want to show you how you can save a path onto a JPEG file. So you can save that JPEG file and when you open it and you want to use it for a project, you can load the selection without having to trace the path again. So let me show you how you can do that. A few days ago I made a tutorial about how to use the pen tool to create selections and I also showed how you can save that path for future uses so when you save that JPEG file you can open it if you want to use it for another project and you can load the same path without having to trace it manually again so that saves a lot of time and I thought I could make a separate video only about that because I think it's a really useful um, useful trick for beginners and advanced users as well so let me show you how you can do that. So imagine you have a, an object that uh, you spend a lot of time to extract from the background and you want to save that uh, selection somehow. And what I did until now is save the same image on a PNG format with the transparent background. But the problem with that is that you end up with a lot of um, duplicated images on your computer and it takes space. So a solution to that is to save the, the once you have the selection of the object, to, to turn that selection into a path and save it on the same J, JPEG file and I want to show you how you can do that. I will not spend time making the selection, that's why I'm using this model on a white background because I can use the magic wand tool. I just want to show you how you can save that. So I'll get the magic wand tool, select the background and do it again, select this part. So the way you can use the selection on future uses is Turn, you can turn this into a into a path, but first I want to invert this because I selected the background, not the woman. I could press Command and and Shift I to invert the selection, and that way I only have selected the woman now, and you can see the selection. And what I will do now is right click and select the option that says Make Work Path. Click that, and it will ask you for the tolerance. Now the tolerance is how close uh, to match how close this path should match the selection that you have here. I'll leave it to 2 pixels for this. Uh, you can um, just try different values here and, and see what uh, suits your image. And you can see that now my selection uh, was turned into a, into a path. And you can see the path right here. Okay, so you can make a selection using any method you want and create a layer mask and everything and then let, load that layer mask and once you have the selection perfect you can turn it into a path and once you have the path if you go to the paths tab here you can see it here and if you press ctrl or command and click on it it will load it as a selection and that's what i want to have on this image so i deselected the work path don't delete it just go back to the layers and now i can go and save this file so i can go to image save as and I will save it as a JPEG. I would not recommend saving uh, for web because I think it um, it will not keep the paths there. So make sure you save it as a normal JPEG file. And I'll save it to this stock folder. I'll name it model and click save. I will save it as a ma at maximum quality. And I will close this just to show you that I closed the image. And I'll press Ctrl or Command O to open it and it's right here model.jpg open it and apparently it, it, well it looks um, just as the the image that i just closed because it's the same one and if i go to the paths tab you will see the work path is still here so that's really useful because now i don't have to spend time again making that selection i can simply pr press controller command and click on it go to the layers and add a layer mask for it and well, uh, the white there is the background. Uh, okay, so now I can have this. Uh, I can load the selection whenever I want to load this for a for another project, and you can see the edges are perfect. So you can see that this technique saves you a lot of time. If I zoom in, you can see the the edges are perfect. Okay, so it's you can use this to save a lot of time when making your selections in Photoshop and don't have duplicated images. You can save this as a JPEG and forget about it. When you want to use it on, a, on another project, just open it, go to the paths, load the path, load the selection and apply the layer mask and you're good to go. 
So I hope you found this um, quick tip useful. Thank you for following my videos and see you next time.